Don't you love the social web? Here I am trying to get some work done on a chapter for a book, and there's all the different elements of the social media, the social web, all of the 2.0 connections we have out there, all screaming for us, all grabbing our attention, if you will. You know, let me show you some examples. You know these, but, you know, quick refresher. We've got Twitter. You know, I've got 13,000 followers somewhat interested in what it is that I'm doing, what I have to say, that kind of thing. Certainly, you know, for any marketer, an, uh, an interesting concept. Um, inside of Facebook, we've got, this is the um, my Facebook fan page, not my regular page. Um, I recently went through a whole process where I separated out, you know, my my friends and family, people I went to school with and whatnot, as as a true Facebook friend. And then for my business stuff and whatnot, I've launched this fan page, and it's going quite well for me. Um, you see here, actually, there was a whole conversation, you know, where I was having a problem, and Dan Ross came to the rescue and was able to fix me up, and you know, I I appreciated him for it. Uh, Facebook's becoming really, really viable for me. Of course, I'm playing in other worlds as well. You've got to, um, you know, there are communities, there are online areas with different different uh, groups of people. Mashable is one that I really enjoy. The content's great. The people are a lot of fun. You know, more the the new media, you know, Web 2.0 types. And of course, in the more professional world, we've got Plaxo, which has become, you know, they, they've gotten out of their problems as a, you know, spam engine and actually becoming a really interesting, viable uh, communication platform for business reasons. So, you know, what do we do with all this stuff? How do we communicate with all this stuff? Let me show you what I'm doing now. And I'm pretty excited about this. And I've um, got this product called Uber Syndicator. And what I can do here is I can click to add a button, and I'm going to make a posting, you know, working on, on a video about my latest product. I think it's going well. And I can take that, I can, and I can click there, and then we're done. Now, I have published. I have published everywhere, and I could, if I wanted to, go right back to my, um, you know, article, my, my chapter, and keep writing it. And obviously, if I wanted to be completely unplugged, I could be in a situation where, you know, I had Word or Pages or something like that open. I just have to be a big fan of Google Docs right now. And what's happening now as a result of Uber Syndicator is I am not um, having to go to all these other websites, even though things, you know, are happening all about. Um, let's go to Facebook really quickly. If we hit refresh on Facebook, you'll see, and of course, who knows, up, uh, oh, there we go, working on a video about my latest product. I think it's going well. See, Facebook now has that update. Very, very cool. Um, let's go to Mashable and see what Mashable's up to. You see, my last comment was, um, what does everyone think of the new season? And um, I hit refresh and... You know, uh, working on a video about my latest product. I think it's going well. Look at that. Facebook got the presentation. Mashable got the presentation. Let's go to Plaxo. If we refresh Plaxo here, you can see that Plaxo got working on the video about my latest product. I think it's going well. And, um, you know, even if we go to Twitter here, which sometimes takes a second or two, we have to refresh working on a video about my latest product. I think it's going well. You see, this is what Uber Syndicator does for me. I'm able to, to match across all these. But even better... Um, I don't have to do instant posting. Sometimes you get an idea, you want to publish, you want to market, you want to do some things. I can even set these things up to be um, very different than what we traditionally do. Like, for instance, today at you know noon, I could have it say, I'm heading out for lunch. Can I get you? And then, then what what happens there is um, you, that goes in the queue, and then that will go out um, today at noon. Um, it doesn't go out right now, so I can use Uber Syndicator to line up, you know, as many presentations as I want to, and then it just runs in the background of what I'm doing, you know. And then what I can do is I can get to work on my stuff, and if Twitter you know, is a distraction to me. I'm now publishing to Twitter. I don't have to have Twitter open. If Facebook is a distraction to me, I can now publish to Facebook. Don't have to have it open. If Mashable is a distraction, I don't have to have it open. I don't have to have desktop apps that feed me all this information. I mean, if I need it, good. But if I'm just in a publishing mood and I'm trying to get some work, even better, get rid of that. And now I can work fundamentally on this product. Um, that's Uber Syndicator. I'm very proud of it. Would love your thoughts. If you're watching this at um, YouTube, go ahead and leave me your comments below. I would love to know what you think about this thing and if you think you could utilize this accordingly. If you are at ubersyndicator.com and you'd like more information, then go ahead and give me your name and email address. We'll get you on the list and we will go get you more information about the product. Um, it's very simple, it's very easy, but it just allows me to be where I want to be without all those distractions of logging on and reading what everybody else has to say. I mean, there's a time for that. But there's a time for just getting the word out there, and that's what Uber Syndicator does. I'm really excited about it. I think you'll enjoy it. Interested in your thoughts.
I just finished editing the video and I realized there's a couple of questions that have probably come into your mind. Uh, question number one, Paul, I can see that you're on a Mac. Is this just a Mac thing? No. This was written on the Adobe Air platform, so it works on Mac and PCs. We did that specifically. Number two, well, Paul, can I get this functionality elsewhere? Yeah, well, of course you can. You can go to Twitter. You can go to Facebook. Uh, there are groups that do this for you. We even tie into some of these tools with Uber Syndicator. The idea here, and I hope you see this on the screen, is that Uber Syndicator does not respond back to anything. Um, it's a one-way communication methodology. There are times to get involved with the dialogue, but there are times to just submit what it is that you have out there for the world to see. That's what Uber Syndicator is all about. So glad I could answer those two questions for you. Again, if you're at YouTube, leave me a comment below. And if you're at ubersyndicator.com, name an email address, and I will get you the information you are looking for. Thank you so much. Have a great day.